I want to make a video because I want to get back into the swing of things, making videos on a regular basis again and, you know, doing that stuff. And I finally got my camera back. Yay! finally got my camera back, so the quality is much, much better than my webcam was because, oh my god, webcam quality was, like, horrible. So now I have my beautiful camera that I'm filming on currently, and yes. I kind of, like, I'm stumped for ideas, though, on what I can make for a video. Um, well, this video is going to be a dreadlock tag. I mean, I wasn't tagged by anyone, but anyone can really do it, and if you guys have dreadlocks and you want to do it, like, go ahead. It's just questions about dreads, and I was out of ideas, so I just figured I'd... Why not do a dreadlock tag? Question number one. Do you remember the specific moment you decided you were going to dread your hair? Where were you, and how did you feel? So, yeah, no. I don't, like, specifically remember the exact moment in time that I, like, that I was like, oh, I'm gonna get dreadlocks. But, um, I do, like, remember around a specific time, because before this set of dreads that are now, uh, like, over two years, um, I had another set of dreads that I had for about six months. Um... Those, my first set, I thought about dreads for like probably a month or two before actually putting them in my head. I did my research, I went on YouTube, like I, you know, I really looked into it and then one night I was just chilling in my bedroom and I was like, I'm going to put dreadlocks in my hair right now. I'm just doing it right now. <laughs> so I did. I just put dreadlocks. Um, yeah, so like I said, I had those dreads for like six months and then I took them out. And the reason why I took them out is, like, long story, and I think I have a video on that that's pretty old, but whatever. And then, like, probably a week or two after I took them out, I just missed them so much that I put them back in. Okay, question number two. What method, if any, did you use to start your dreadlock? I used twist and rip, like, on every dread, basically, yeah. Because um, some people I know, they use, like different methods and they just kind of try them all out whatever but like mine is to start I use twist and rip and then after that there was it was basically neglect question number three how old are my dreadlocks <laughs> um yeah my dreads are over two years um probably about two years and a month or two months I don't know the exact time they turned two years but it was sometime in July so probably only like two years and a month. Number four. What is the length of your longest dread and what is the length of your shortest dread? I, the longest dread that I have is, I gotta like find it. I think that it's, oh God, bring it, bring it over here. I think it's this one. Um, that's my longest. It's the longest one I put them all at the back of my head anyways, um, which reaches a little bit past my, like, bra strap, um, so, like, in the front, this would be my longest, um, which I think is, it's not the same one, though, for some reason, I don't know, <laughs> um, and yeah, so, the longest probably reaches about my bra strap, like, you know, mid-boob, kind of, and then my shortest dread, um, my shortest dread is this little nub that I have in the back of my head here. Um, I'll just scooch around maybe a little bit. Um, this one. And I have a video on that little guy too, actually. Question number five. Do I have any dreads that are especially unique, strange, or... Awesome? Yeah, probably. I mean, everyone does after. Like, at first when you first make your dreads, you know, they're probably not going to be that, like, unique and stuff. But over the as the years go by, like, you do notice your dreadlocks do, like, weird things, and that's, I think, the beauty of dreadlocks, and that's why I, like, have them, is because they're just, you know, no one dreadlock is the same, but, um, yeah, I have, um, I gotta find it, <laughs> I have this one that is a little Congo, um, that was, this little piece of hair was just the baby hairs, it, like, loose baby hairs in the back of my ear, because this dread is in the back of my ear, 
And um, one day the loose baby hairs just decided that they were going to attach themselves to this dreadlock. And now they are attached to this dreadlock. Question number six. How many dreads do you currently have and is it the same number as what you started with? I never counted my dreads. Um, so I have no idea, to be honest. I do know I've probably added some dreads as the years have gone by. I actually I know that like for certain, but like the number has probably shifted a little bit. But I don't know the exact number that I have because I never cared to count them. Or yeah, probably though I'd approximate at around like 40. Seven. What shampoo or other products do you use on your dreadlocks? Um, my Neutrogena anti-residue shampoo. Um, it's like unscented. It's almost empty as you can see, but this like gigantic jug of shampoo that I buy at like Walmart um, lasts me for, like this has lasted me half of a year because I only wash my hair about once a week. Sometimes, like it depends. It varies like what activities I'm doing, if I've sweat more than, you know, the past week. Like it just, it depends. I mean, I feel it myself, like, you know, whatever. If it needs to be washed, it doesn't, but approximately, like, on average, I only wash my hair once a week, and then, yeah, this gigantic jug lasts me, like, half a year or so. Um, but yeah, it's just Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo, like, pretty basic shampoo. Um, other than that, though, I don't, I don't put products in my hair at all, except once in a while, like, hairspray on my bangs, like, my loose hair, I'll put hairspray, like, if I've straightened my hair. Sometimes I use hairspray um, to get rid of the grease in my hair too, like, because obviously grease shows up more in like loose hair than it does in dreads. Um, so I just take some hairspray and like spray my roots a little bit and then brush it through and it like take it gets rid of the grease. But other than that, no, I don't use products. Number eight. How often do you wash your dreads? Well, I just answered that. <laughs> um, so yeah, like about once a week. It varies. It's like, whatever. Everyone's hair is different, you know, it depends what I'm doing. But yeah, about once a week. Do you do any regular maintenance on your dreadlocks? No, I, I really don't. The only ma maintenance that I do is, like, washing, which, I mean, everyone kind of does, even people with, not, with no dreadlocks. Um, <laughs> and I have extensions, so, you know, sometimes, like, they'll, they'll come loose. Like, I have a couple that are probably coming loose. Um, if I can find them. Like this one. This one's coming loose. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But you can kind of tell right right there that it's, it's coming a little bit loose. And um, when that happens, all I do is take a crochet hook and tighten it back up. But, like, this, like, this is extension. This little teensy thing. And then this is my hair. And I don't... I don't do maintenance on my like actual dreadlocks, like my hair. I don't use a crochet hook on them. I only ever use the crochet hook or whatever to tighten my extensions. And um, other than that, I also separate them. Like after I've washed them and they've dried, I'll go through and I'll like make sure to separate them because dreadlocks tend to want to like grow together, and I don't want a gigantic like rat's nest on my head. So. Number 10. If your dreads had their own personal motto, what would it be? Um, wow, okay. I'm not really sure. Probably the same as my motto would be, which is, I don't know, basically like live free, be free, be, you know, yeah, like be free, basically. My dreads are, they're, they're very free, you know? Like I said, I don't really do maintenance on them, and they just, they do their own thing, like, and I think that's, like, the most important thing in life, other than, I mean, not just your dreadlocks, you know, but, um, just in life in general, just to, like, do your own thing, be free, not give a shit what people think, so, that would probably be my, like, dreadlocks motto, is, yeah, just be free. Well, I've, I've ran out of fingers to, like, do that, and there's more questions, so it's, like, 11. What are your favorite beads or other decorations? Um, that was actually number 10, and I skipped it and answered number 11 for number 10. So now I'm just going to switch it around. Yeah, beads. Beads or decorations. I have a couple of them, and I think my favorite one would definitely be, um, where are you, little guy? I, it would be this one. Um, it's like
like this metal, which is like, yeah, I don't know. You can see it for yourself probably. <laughs> um, I got it online uh, at a dreadlock store. I think I got it on NaughtyBoy.com, which, um, you know, you don't really have to like, if you want to like get beads and stuff for your hair, you don't really got to go to like Naughty Boy or like Jet Head HQ. You can just go to eBay and they, they have things. But uh, I got this when I was like first starting my dress and I didn't really know like, you know what I mean? Um, so I just got it on Naughty Boy, but they're like overpriced. <laughs> Okay, uh, question number 12 is, if you could start a new set of dreadlocks, would you do anything differently? Probably not, no, because, like, like I said at the starting of my video, this is my second set of dreads, so, like, I already kind of had that whole, oh, have the first set, regret some things, like, maybe I should have sectioned better, maybe I should have, like, done this differently. So when I, like, started my second set, I did it the way that I wanted. Like, I already had that experience of, like, thinking, like, maybe I should have done something differently. Um, so now I'm like, no, not really. I like the way they turned out, and yeah, I like my dreads. Number 13. Is there any, uh, anything else, is there anything else unique about you other than your dreadlocks, like tattoos, piercings, stuff like that? Yeah, I, I mean, I do have tattoos and I do have piercings, so... Yeah, I guess. Um, <laughs> I have stretched ears. Um, I have a second hole, but that's no big deal. Like, I have a second hole in both. I just have three holes, um, but those have closed over because um, I just took them out one day and forgot to put them back in. That happened. I used to have uh, up here, too, somewhere. I don't remember which ear, but it got infected, so I had to take it out. Um, I have my tongue pierced. I have uh, spider bites. Um, I have, I used to have my eyebrow pierced, but I don't have that pierced anymore. Um, I have my nipples pierced, which I'm, like, not going to show you. <laughs> um, and I have my belly button pierced, which I'm, like, too lazy to show you. But other than that, those are my only piercings. Um, I have tattoos. I have three tattoos. I have this tattoo on my arm, um, which says, if you dream it, you can do it, which is, like, a really important message to myself, really. Um, that I just like to believe in, like, you, uh, you can do anything you set your mind to, that's basically what that tattoo is. And then I have, um, the kanji symbol for love on my left shoulder blade, which was my first ever tattoo, which I got when I was 16 years old. Um, so it's, you know, it's pretty basic, pretty plain. Um, and then I have, uh, hydrangea flowers on my right, like, hip, on my back hip. Um, but that's it. That's all I have. All right, uh, number 14. How many people do you know personally that have dreadlocks? Well, personally, like, in, in person, in real life, um, nobody any... Well, actually, yeah, this one guy, I know, um, he has dreadlocks. Um, I used to... My best friend, Zoe, used to have dreadlocks, like, and I did her dreadlocks for her, um, and she had them for, like probably almost a year. And then she got lice, which is really sad. And when you get lice, when you have dreads, you pretty much have no choice but to, like, get rid of your dreads. Because even if you can kill all of the lice, um, the dead bodies will, like, get stuck in your dreads, you know? Because, like, you, you don't have loose hair to, like, comb out the dead bodies. So, yeah. I do know some people online that have dreads, too, like, and... I, and people, like, that I, I don't know them personally, but sometimes, like, just I'm walking around, like, you know, in my city, and I do see people with dreads. Like, it's it's actually a pretty common thing. Like, not, not common, but it's becoming a lot more common than it used to be, because when I was a kid, I never saw anyone with dreadlocks, like, ever. Um, but now, like, I go to the mall, and I'll see, like, you know, one or two people that have dreadlocks, and it's pretty cool. Number 15. Have any employers ever turned you down because of your dreadlocks? And have any ever wanted you because you have dreadlocks? Um, yes. The, to yes to the first one, I have been turned down because I had dreadlocks. Um, I had basically, I got the job, and then at the end of the interview she said, like, yeah, I really want you to work here, but you can't have dreads. Um, so I refused because I was like, that's discrimination, and it's my hair, and I like my hair, so, yeah. Um, but other than that, like, I've only ever had that one experience. No, I think I've had two experiences, but that was when I was first starting my dress out, so they were, like, more in their messy phase. 
dreadlocks, they were harder to like, you know, pin back and make them look nice. Dreadlocks aren't really something that are really all that accepted still in like the employment world. Like it's hard unless you want to work at a fast food place. It's pretty hard to get like a job with your dreads unless you make them look really like unless they're long and you can put them in like a really neat tidy bun. Um, because yeah, they get discriminated against a lot. But no, no one's ever like wanted me because I have dreads. They. When I go for job interviews, I usually try my best to like make it look like I don't even have dreads. I'll like, like I said, put them in a really like tight bun at the back of my head, like really make sure there's like no frizzies and no like I don't do a messy bun. I do like really neat and tidy bun with like no dreads sticking out, so that it's like yeah. Sixteen is what's the funniest comment that you've gotten about your dreads? Um, the dumbest, the weirdest. And the most common. <laughs> the weirdest question I've gotten about my dreads. Hmm. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. I've probably gotten some pretty weird. I know there's one guy, like when I when I went to school, um, this one guy when I had first met him, he's like, Is it true that you put mayo in your dreads? Like you have to put mayo in your dreads? And I just looked at him and I'm like, Where the fuck did you hear that? Like, why would I put mayo in my dreadlocks? Dumbest, that would probably like co correlate to like with the dumbest, but dumbest are like, I get just really dumb questions on a regular basis from people about like, I don't know, it's hard to think right now because I'm having a mind fart, but things like that, you know, like, is it true that like you have to put mayo in your dress? And yeah, I'm just like, no, it's not. The funniest? I don't know, because I, I consider, like, dumb questions funny because I, I just, I can't really think of any other reaction. Like, I don't want to get pissed off. They're just, they're really, like, they're just ignorant on the subject, you know what I mean? Like, they just don't, they really don't know. So it's like, you, there's no point in getting mad at them. I just laugh, usually. So I usually think dumb questions are also really funny. But the most common questions are definitely just, like, can you still wash your hair? That's definitely like probably number one is if I can if I wash my hair. Um, number two, I don't know, would probably be what do you do when they grow? Because um, a lot of people don't really understand that our hair naturally dreads itself, um, so they usually ask me like, well, well, how do you judge your hair as it grows? And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty funny, but it's also pretty common. And since I dye my hair too, a common question is like how. Do I dye my dreadlocks? Um, I don't know, my camera just randomly turned off. I don't know like what it got and what it didn't get. But yeah, basically I'm a number 18. Uh, no, 19. And what jetted YouTubers could I see myself hanging out with? And I said Kimmy Tan, which I follow her on Tumblr. And yeah, hi, if you're watching this. Um, totally could see myself hanging out with you or her, whatever. I don't really watch any other YouTubers that have dreads. It's like most of the YouTubers that I first watched when I was like first starting my dreads, like, most of them have taken their dreadlocks out, um, so, it's like, eh, I don't really know of any anymore, because I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I just don't. And, um, last but not least is number 20, which, who are you going to tag? And I'm just going to tag, like, everyone, because I'm, like, really lazy. <laughs> Anyone who wants, and who wants to do this video, just, like, go ahead, if you have dreads, you know, just, yeah. Do it up, film the video. My camera messed up. I'm not really sure when it cut off, but I just noticed. Um, so I'm gonna, sorry about that if it did cut some stuff off. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Give me suggestions, cause I'm running out of ideas on what to like do in my videos, like what to film. But I definitely wanna keep filming videos cause I love, I love my YouTube community. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, you know, comment, do whatever your heart desires, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.